What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. Today is the 1st of September and we're about to start a new academic year. I'm sure that many of you have made a resolution to improve your English next course. That's why in today's English bit, I'm going to give you 10 tips on how to make it possible. Are you ready? So let's get down to business. My first tip is watching series and films. I really recommend doing it on a daily basis because it does wonders. Not only can you improve your listening skills, but also your speaking ones. As strange as it may sound, by watching films and series, you hear lots of expressions, collocations and grammar structures. So when it comes to speaking, you find it much easier to produce a clear sentence. But you need to be constant. At first, it's really hard, it takes a lot of time and patience, but if you persevere, I can guarantee that you'll be surprised at the result. So pick one or two series and watch one episode every day. In my case, currently I'm watching two series, The Big Bang Theory and How I Met Your Mother, and they are both super funny. My second tip is listening to podcasts. As you may know, podcasts are super trendy and my recommendation is to pick one or two and listen to them every week. For example, when you do sports, when you go running or go for a walk, you can listen to your favorite podcast. You can find lots of different podcasts on applications like Evox or Castbox. So choose a podcast related to your hobbies. It can be about sports or healthy lifestyle, fashion, or even learning English. My third tip would be listening to audiobooks. So apart from listening to podcasts, another good idea is to listen to audiobooks, especially when you have some time to kill. For example, if you travel by plane or by train, you can listen to a good book. You can check out these to websites where you can download audiobooks like audiobooks.com or audible.com. Now let's move on to my tip number four, which is using apps to learn and improve your English. I think we should take advantage of new technology that enables us to learn English in a more enjoyable and fun way. So I would recommend using three apps that I like. The first app is Quizlet, which helps you memorize new vocabulary. You need to make a list of new words you're trying to learn, and later you can listen to their pronunciation and play different games. So I think it's a good way to memorize new vocabulary. The second app I can recommend is Quiz Your English. You can improve your English while you're having fun. You can compete with other players from around the world and play different games. There are different levels and different topics, so whenever you have some spare time, you can use this app. And the third app I recommend is Kahoot, where you can play and even create your own fun quiz games. Now let's move on to my tip number five, which is having a vocabulary notebook. I think it's a great way to organize new vocabulary and whenever you come across a new word, you should write it down in your vocabulary notebook. I like having different sections with different stickers. So for example, the green sticker is for adjectives, the yellow one is for phrasal verbs, I have another one for phrases, for idioms, for nouns, for verbs, etc. And I also like highlighting important words. So I think it's very useful to help you memorize new vocabulary. My tip number six is reading a book in English. So pick a book you're interested in and read a little bit every day. For example, at night, in bed, you can read a few pages and in this way you can improve your reading and writing skills. Speaking of writing, my next recommendation is to use the website Write and Improve by Cambridge English. So if you need to write a composition and there is nobody who can correct it, you can use this website and get a correction. There are different levels and different tasks, and I think it can help you improve this important skill. 
My tip number eight is traveling to an English-speaking country next course. I think that making a trip to an English-speaking country can put your knowledge of English into practice. You can improve your English while you're getting to know new culture, new customs, meeting new people, trying out local cuisine and having a great time. As you may know, I'm into traveling and next year I want to go to New York and Dublin and I'm really looking forward to visiting these places. My tip number nine is learning English on YouTube. As you know, there are a lot of YouTube channels where you can learn English. So my recommendation is to choose a few and watch their videos every week. For example, I like Amigos Ingleses and um, English. I think they are great teachers and you can learn a lot with them. And last but not least, my final tip is watching one English bit a week. I'm going to continue uploading a new English bit every week and I hope you join me and learn something new. So I really hope you enjoyed this English bit and it will help you improve your English next course. A year ago, I made a similar video with more tips on how to make it possible. If you're interested, you can check it out right here. And of course, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it the thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao!